Hello and good morning. Pastor Brian here. Thank you for joining me today as we read a psalm a day. Today we're reading Psalm 136 together. And as we gather each time, I will be reading from the Common English Bible Translation. And I invite you to read from or follow along in whatever your favorite translation is. Or just listen along with me as we go through Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, because He is good. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the God of all gods. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the Lord of all lords. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the only one who makes great wonders. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who made the skies with skill. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who shaped the earth on the water. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who made the great lights. God's faithful love lasts forever. The sun to rule the day. God's faithful love lasts forever. The moon and the stars to rule the night. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who struck down the Egyptian's oldest offspring. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who brought Israel out of there. God's faithful love lasts forever. With a strong hand and outstretched arm, God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who split the Red Sea in two. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who brought Israel through. God's faithful love lasts forever. And toss Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who led his people through the desert. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the one who struck down great kings. God's faithful love lasts forever. And killed powerful kings. God's faithful love lasts forever. Sihon the Amorite king. God's faithful love lasts forever. Og, king of Bashan, God's faithful love lasts forever. Handing their land over as an inheritance, God's faithful love lasts forever. As an inheritance to Israel, his servant, God's faithful love lasts forever. God remembered us when we were humiliated. God's faithful love lasts forever. God rescued us from our enemies. God's faithful love lasts forever. God is the one who provides food for all living things. God's faithful love lasts forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. God's faithful love lasts forever. It's the end of Psalm 136. And you know the thing that really stuck out to me when I first started reading this psalm? Uh, was that it, it really truly reminds me of the song uh, Forever by Michael W. Smith, I believe. And, you know, it goes, uh, Give thanks to uh, our Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. And, and it continues to go on uh, talking about uh, the greatness of God, which is exactly what this psalm is about. And so I, I'm assuming, I think, that uh, the, the song, Forever, is based on this psalm, and as we see, every other half of a verse is God's faithful love lasts forever. And just that idea of forever, uh, you know, I had a, a pastor colleague that I worked with in, a, in, a, in another call, and he gave a sermon one time and uh, admitted, and which I thought was fantastic, by the way, admitted that just this idea of forever is just is baffling. You know, centuries, that's a timeline. Decades, eons, millennia, all of that has a time to things. But to say something like, God's faithful love lasts forever, that God cares about us forever, I, I have to agree that sometimes that can be 
completely unfathomable that, that God would care about us forever, that God would love us forever. And yet, that is the reality that we live in. And that is the message that we've been called to share, is that God's love is forever, and that it breaks boundaries, and it breaks barriers. And that's why we are loved by God, is because God broke down all the barriers, all the things that separated us from God, so that we could be called children. And for that, and for everything else that God is for us, we give thanks to our God in heaven, for God's faithful love lasts forever. So now I invite you to, to think about what you heard, and what you liked, and maybe something you didn't like, and to write it down, share it with a friend, share it with us, and as always, please, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and God bless.